Hello faithful Lakers nation, arriving here with more information from our team, but first, if you are really crazy about the Lakers, subscribe to our channel. The press conferences at Lakers games have been a real spectacle in recent weeks. Last Friday, Darvin Ham gave an unusual response to reports of a locker room disagreement, in which he mentioned the witness protection program before the team's game against the Grizzlies. And yet, somehow, this wasn't even the most anticipated press conference for their game this week, let alone the season. After the Raptors' 132-131 loss to the Lakers this Tuesday, the Toronto team's coach, Darko Rajakovic, exploded with frustration regarding the discrepancy in free throws. The Lakers went to the line 36 times to just 13 for the Raptors, including a 23-2 deficit in the fourth quarter. Truly, it was a historic outburst. Defending his team is expected and he certainly won the team's full support after this press conference, even if his wallet is about to get a little lighter with an inevitable fine. Before we continue, leave a like and activate the notification bell and stay up to date with the Lakers world. But does he really have an argument? Context is important here. There are several ways to analyze the situation and provide context rather than sharing screenshots without any explanation. First of all, the free throw discrepancy isn't that extreme in the fourth quarter, as the Raptors committed intentional fouls late to prolong the game, resulting in eight of the free throws in the fourth quarter, all made by Anthony Davis. Two additional free throws came on a Raptors flagrant foul when Emmanuel quickly hit Cam Reddish with his elbow to the chin. Two more free throws were won on an offensive rebound by Max Christie with just over a minute remaining. That makes 14 of 23 free throws in the fourth quarter. There is also the context that the Raptors did not play with a center for practically the entire game. With Jacob Poltel out, the Raptors used Pascal Siakam at center against Anthony Davis. Siakam fouled AD with 34 seconds remaining with the Lakers leading 122 to 121. The Lakers' strategy from the beginning was to pass the ball to AD, as the Raptors had no protection in the paint, and that paid off in the end. Ultimately, the Raptors played Jonte Porter, a 6-foot-9 center, for just 10 minutes that night. Chris Boucher and Thaddeus Young are 2.06 and 2.03 meters, respectively, and spent time trying to protect the paint, but neither played more than 29 minutes and neither finished the game. To conclude the analysis, the Raptors faced a Lakers team that attacks the paint a lot, the team ranked second in cleaning the glass in the frequency of shots close to the basket, and did not have the starting center, which was already a bad situation. The Toronto team then decided not to play any other center for most of the game. And because of that, the team conceded a lot of free throws. Or, you can summarize how LeBron James did after the game when asked about the free throw discrepancy. I feel like they committed fouls and we didn't. Follow the game. What do you think of Darko Rajakovic's attitude, comment below, remembering that his opinion is very important.